California couple says that they escaped an armed carjacker on Maui by hiking to the summit of Haleakala in the middle of the night. This is the man that they were allegedly running from, 35-year-old Christopher Helmer. He has now been indicted on eight counts, including robbery, auto theft, and firearms offenses. MPD says that he stole the couple's car at gunpoint on Pi'ilani Highway on the night of June 4th. The victims say that Helmer then chased them and fired a shot when they hid behind boulders and bushes off the roadway. The pair began hiking up Haleakala to escape, and nearly 24 hours later, hikers and later park rangers helped to rescue them. Helmer remained in custody on half a million dollars bail. A military family whose daughter was abused by two women at a Navy daycare has filed a complaint against the Honolulu Police Department. They say police failed to take their case seriously until they saw video of the girl being harmed on camera. Now, we do want to warn you, the video that you might, about, might see is disturbing. On, in 2022, Isabella Kirkendall went to the Navy's Child Development Center at Ford Island, and her parents contacted police after seeing bruises on her daughter. But the case went nowhere. Three months later, after the case was closed, the military allowed the parents to look at hours worth of surveillance video. And on that video, they saw a daycare worker strike Isabella's head and use the child's arm to hit her in the face. That same day, another worker is seen violently shaking the child. A third worker is seen throwing the girl to the ground and then covering her with a blanket. We kept spoon feeding everything to HPD for their case to make the case. They kept saying, no, we're not interested. We're not opening the case. Every camera angle has clear violence on it. Two daycare workers were sentenced after pleading no contest to third degree assault. A third worker has not been prosecuted. HPD released a statement that said in part, the complaint was received on April 29th and is currently being investigated by the officer's command. Looking for something fun to do this weekend that is also good for the environment? Well, you can check out the Waikiki Aquarium for its eighth annual Outrigger Ozone Day. That event brings together nonprofit partners for a day of education and fun. The goal of the event is to inform the community on how to better protect our oceans and to help them to thrive for generations to come. This is tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Waikiki Aquarium. Here's a quick look at your first alert seven day forecast. Beautiful weather going forward, a better chance for some showers throughout Saturday and Sunday and a potential for some isolated thunderstorms, but they'll be relatively short lived and won't be widespread. Breezy conditions and breezy trades return by the time we get to Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.